Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Polish Helga and I'm going to use those vinyls from the Dollar Tree. I've started off with Neltix Formula 2 and here's the beautiful Helga. Beautiful yellow, shimmery, mm, yummy polish. I love this one. It's just the right shade of yellow in my opinion. Beautiful. And it's got an excellent formula. It's going on like butter. Yep. I love it. So there we go. I'm going to cap my free edge. There we go. And now we're going to go in for our second coat. And I do really, really, I mean, this is just one of those polishes I could wear all on its own. But I am going to do a little play in today. I'm going to top it with the Fast and Hard from Vibrant Vinyls and get it to dry down really good because that's the key with playing with vinyls, especially if you're doing them straight on your nail. Um, you want that polish to be very, very, very dry. And um, I'm going to cap my free edge again. I'm going to show you a couple of ways I use these. I've got these little vinyls and I've pulled a couple of them off and put them on my little mat. I'll be using the Brave Steva on the black stamping polish. Um, you could use regular polish, it doesn't have to be stamping polish, this is just what I had out. And you're going to brush it over the design. Very, very easy. And, um, you know, I, I actually prefer making decals using these vinyls because um, of those wonky C curves on my nails. So I'm going to use some tweezers and quickly get this up before that polish starts drying. Definitely don't want to wait around too long. And now I'm going to use the Super Dry. I get this from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going in real heavy handed with it. And I'm sorry it's so blurry, but I am just kind of like dabbing it on, not brushing it. Just kind of dabbing it on there. And now here's the other way you can use these vinyls directly on the nail. So you want to line it up and you want to want to smush it down really good and get, you know, make sure that it's stuck all the way down everywhere. Um, this is not my preferred way to use vinyls. And I'm going to trim some of the vinyl off so that it like will lay down better and stick. I really do like these though. I had a really good time playing with them. There we go. We're going to snip some more off of there. There we go. Get rid of that junk. And go back over it again and make sure everything's mushed down good. I'm using the back of a um, brush, my cleanup brush. It's kind of got a rounded end. I'm just kind of going over it real quick. I'm going to use that on the black again from Brave Steva and I'm just going to brush over the top of this, being sure to get down into all those little nooks and crannies. There's a nook and cranny right there. And I'm just brushing that smooth, trying to make sure I got it all covered. And then I'm going to take my little tweezers and I'm going to pull this off just straight up. I do have a little piece missing. I do go in and fill that in. I'm going to go over that again with some more Super Dry. Um, this Super Dry is really thin, which is part of why I like using it for vinyls and decals and that kind of thing. Um, but I am going to do another coat of it and let it dry completely. Um, let it get all dry. Um, I am going to top this other one with some of the Born Pretty Smudge Free Top Coat. I know it wasn't stamping, but you can use this for other stuff, and that's what I'm doing here today. So there we go. I'm going to go in with my cuticle tool and try to start getting this decal to peel up. Got it going, so now I'm going to be very careful and just kind of work it off that mat. It's still very pliable, but it's not wet. It's still a little sticky and pliable. And here we go. We're going to watch me struggle in getting this on here. There we go. Good enough. There we go. Tap, tap, tap. Smish it down. 
And I'm going to take my little scissors and I'm going to trim the edge off real quick. As much of it as I can get. And there we go with that little cuticle tool. I'm going to kind of cut away some of this excess back here on the back. Like I said, this one's still a little sticky. I mean, it's not mushy real bad, but it's, it's still very tacky and it's sticking to everything. And now I'm going to go in with my cleanup brush and some acetone and do some serious cleaning up here. Because of course that black polish is all up by my cuticle. I'm going to clean it up the best I can and then I'm going to have to just uh, wait for some hand washing to happen to get some more of it to come off. But I did really enjoy doing this. It's a, it's a simple way to do a manicure. Um, and you know it's they're fun I really did like how sticky they were though they did stick really well um, I was surprised you know coming from the Dollar Tree I wasn't expecting just a whole lot but um, I really did like it really did like doing them and there are enough on the, a sheet in a package to do all 10 nails I just chose today to do some accent nails Still wanted to have some of that Helga just to enjoy all on its own. So I'm going to top it with some Born Pretty Smudge Free Top Coat, just like I did that other one. Get that all covered up. But I, I just, you know, like it, like it. Fun and easy. <clears throat> So there we go. Got a little bit of a smudge I had to get with my finger. And I'm going to break Woody out and get some of this cleanup here done. Hi, Woody. Now I'm going to finish it off with some of the Fast and Hard from Vibrant Finals. Seal it in. Make it all glossy. There we go. Gloss it up. Make it shiny. Just the way we like it. So here we go. This is my final mini. And I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. I want to thank you for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself.